Okay, guys, I know that this isn't the Antimagic Academy review or the video that talks about my special plans for Saturday or and uh, information regarding Monday and Tuesday. But that video, that will be done straight after this review of Dance with Devils. And let's me say about Dance with Devils. I really love the singing in this and I had actually I got my hopes up. I was like, could this be the a musical anime where they only sing and never talk? Because then I would be like, oh my god, this is anime of of the season, maybe in the year then. It's gonna be better than Hacker Dolls. And you guys know how much I love Hacker Dolls. So, yeah. But sadly it isn't. And I wonder, is there actually an anime where they only sing? And never talks, you know, like they it basically explains the plot and stuff in singing, you know, like he went to the hill, etc. And if there is, could you put the title um, in the description in the comment section? Because I'd really love to check that out. Also, I think I have read the source material, or maybe I think about the anime uh, with the girl who are basically like. A library. She basically has like I think it's thousand and one books inside of her, and she can basically like summon them out to uh, uh, with help from her contractor. So yeah, I wonder if it's that because there was two words in this that made me basically hit like I know this story, and one of them was the third library and forbidden grimoire. So yeah, either it's I'm thinking about that, or I've read the source material for this uh, Dance with Devil and have forgotten all about it. But what is the story of Dance with Devils? Yeah. From what I have gathered, we basically have two groups. The Devils, which is the school council, and then we have the vampires. I presume they are vampires because of their fangs. And they are both searching for this forbidden grimoire who allows the user to control the world and basically do anything. And I wonder if this grimoire is like really this powerful that it literally can control the world or if it's basically like the power of love because that could be a, an interesting twist if it was like the power of love basically makes it so you may want to do things you never thought you would or you can change the world with love because if everyone loved each other, the world would change instead of being controlled by greed. But yeah, and here we actually are, and here the story goes, and or how do this uh, dance with devil then end up in the Otomo, uh, or you know, basically a lot of guys dating a single girl. Uh, genre I can tell you that because we meet this girl Ritsuka a female main character who uh, whose mother or rather her, her mother and her brother I think they work they know about devils because her brother is like a priest and when he hears that uh, their mother is been has been attacked she he basically says that she must not go home. She needs to get over to a friend, uh, Asuna. Yeah. But that is later on in the story. But yeah, basically, um, Ratsu Ritsuka's mother gives her like a charm, or she changes the little pow uh, powder inside the the necklace and tells her that it's really important that you don't lose it all. No, that's her brother that tells her that. Um, and the reason for that is that it protects against vampires and uh, what is it called? Devils. Basically, it protects her so she can't uh, be like, basically have the devil put a, a seal on her that will basically control her and the vampire cannot uh, use their mind control on her due to the neck that is a necklace uh, or amulet's power. 
it's actually the pouch inside the necklace that gives it that power. So yeah, but as you can, Ritsuka, she is uh, basically being called up to the what's called the school uh, council's um, what's called room, the third library, to enter because she uh, she uh, yeah she has basically been summoned by their leader because he want to know what she knows about the. The, la the the forbidden grimoire, and uh, of course she don't know anything, but he tries to get it out of her with hypnosis, but due to, and then put a seal on her. But due to the amulet, as I said before, he cannot do that, and she she don't want to tell him anything, and I don't think she knows anything about this grimoire, because when she come goes home, and you know sees her house basically getting, being wrecked and uh, yeah her mother bleeding and some uh, and she is calling the police and the house is basically fine and yeah then she then calls her brother and what I have said he tells her to go to a friend stay at a friend's house because the men may be coming back and she is then um, assaulted as on her way to her friend's house being assaulted by um, the vampires who tries to you know hypnotize her to tell her what uh, she knows because they couldn't find the live uh, that grimoire in her house however Rim the leader of the school council shows up and saves her and takes her with him home and from what I can see now of course uh, I see the devils as evil it could be I may see it wrong but I think he tries to, you know, win her trust by this move. So he basically like the lures her into that, so she would be, so it would be easier for him to get her to uh, him to get her to tell her, him what uh, she knows about the grimoire, and she, uh, she knows about that grimoire is magical, um, you know, books of stuff. She don't know anything about this forbidden grimoire. So I wonder, does she actually know anything? Or is she just playing dumb? And why would her brother basically rush back to her in um, from uh, England, England just because their mother has been attacked? I wonder. I would say that the episode is really good. And I really enjoyed, as I said, the singing. And I want to say, I really look forward to seeing the next episode. And I most likely will watch it here because I want to hear that singing, if there is any, on my Logitech Z5500 digital surround sound system. And also, before I end, do not let Shiki get near any girls because he has basically the rape eyes. He even says, Poor little thing, I'm gonna break you gently in uh, his singing, or he sings that. So, yeah. But until next time, guys, see you and have a good day, good night, wherever you are. Cheers, guys.